All right, for Thursday's workout, we have close quarters. Today is completely unweighted, so regardless of what you have at home, you can do this workout. It's gonna be a longer duration. We're going for 25 minute AMRAP. The workout is gonna start with either 25 or 18 calories on the bike of the rower or a 400 meter run. We're looking for that to be two minutes or less, ideally on either one of those options. From there, we're going into 25 ab mat sit-ups and then 40 alternating lunges. You can either do these in place, forward stepping or reverse stepping, or you can do them as a walking lunge. Have fun with this one. All right, we're gonna walk through our warm up today for close quarters. So we're gonna do 30 seconds at each of the following. It's gonna start with either a bike rower run, whatever you're doing in the workout today, for 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna go into an active Samson. So alternating legs into that lunge, getting a good hip flexor stretch for 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna go into a front plank. So we're just gonna hold that plank position for 30 seconds. After the plank, we're going back to the bike rower run, another 30 seconds of that, and then into active Spider-Man. So from that plank position, we're stepping the foot out to the hand, reaching up, getting a good rotation stretch, then switching out, doing the same thing on the other side. From the active Spider-Man, we're gonna go into a side plank. So you can do either side first, right or left. Just holding that plank position for 30 seconds. After the side plank, we're doing another bike rower run for 30 seconds and then into push up to downward dog. So from our plank position, chest to the floor, pressing back into that downward dog position, getting a good stretch of our calves, driving the head through, stretching out the shoulders. And then we're gonna finish with the opposite side plank. So whichever one you did in the first round, you're gonna do the opposite side in this last round, holding that position for 30 seconds. For the sit-ups today in close quarters, if you have an ab mat, feel free to use it. Otherwise, grab yourself a yoga mat. You can also roll up a towel to put it under your lower back just to provide some additional support. We're gonna sit all the way back so that our shoulders are touching the ground, hands behind the head, and then we're using those arms to throw and sit all the way up, making sure that the shoulders pass the hips. Don't be afraid to use those arms to assist with that sit-up. 25 reps today, feel free to break them up in manageable sets, but try to move consistently. All right, so there's a couple different ways that we can do our lunges today in close quarters. Regardless, in the bottom of that lunge position, we wanna make sure that we're taking a big enough step out that our knee is not tracking over top of the toe. You can see that Kate has a 90 degree angle with that front leg and the back knee is just kissing the ground. As she's gonna stand up, she'll show one on the other side, big step out, back knee touches, and then stepping back. So like I said, we can do these a couple different ways. One would be a forward stepping, which is what she just demonstrated. So she's stepping forward, stepping back. You could also do these as a reverse stepping lunge where she's gonna step back, back knee touches, and then she stands all the way up to complete the rep. You could also do these as a walking lunge. So making sure that when you step through, you're stepping nice and tall, extending that forward leg to complete the rep. Regardless of which option you're doing here, you're gonna do 40 total reps which would be 20 on each side.